Okay. Hello. One, two, three. Okay, so today uh, today I have a few things I would like to do. I think I'm drifting. drifting. All right. Reboot the flight computer. Ah, uh, yes. All right. The docking connector for the miner is at the far end there, so I'm going to touch down on the asteroid over there. <clears throat> Unlock the landing gear. Uh, hinge lock is already off. Hinge is on. All right. Three green, no red. And hinges are locked. Landing gear is locked down. Okay, cool. Mark five will connect. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. 
down. Come on, you beast. Let's get this thing landed. Or not. Alright. Screw it. Swing this around. Uh, no, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Stop! Oh shit. <laughs> what? This ship is cursed. Oh, it's so cursed. <laughs> like, literally, it's haunted. It would be nice to be able to see under this thing. There we go. Oh. <clears throat> oh I forgot I've been working on that in a cell. Okay, great. Sure hope that doesn't pop down and smash itself on the rock. Oh, well, it's probably fine. <laughs> Pair projector somewhere. Still open, huh? I came over here to find a repair projector. There it is. Oh, I see. Okay, I was placing tubes. And now I need interior plate 
construction component deal. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Uh, let's see. Construction. Get that there. That should be plenty. All right, cool. And we are back in business. Oh. That's important. So is that one. Cool. So. I don't see anything else glowing. That's glowing. It's okay. Great. So what I'd like to do is offload some ice from this thing onto that base. I'm going to fill this up. That. Won't be able to fill the drills. I'll unload it or I can disconnect. All right, let's see. Disconnect and taxi. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a projector on that thing too, which is also on. I wish I could turn that on. So, uh, off and connect. Very cool. Cargo here. Uh, doot, doot, doot. That's everything. I can resupply the ice when I get back. Uh, is there anything I want to take with me? Let's just do this first. That is off. That is all. Okay. Cool. Let's go inside. Oh, there's no gravity over here. Okay. 
right. The incomplete generator. Got it. Oh. There's a catwalk down there and it's not complete. Alright. But I believe everything else is good. Yep. Quarters for sleeping arrangements for me and two of my closest friends. Still need medical components for that. That's okay. And then over here. Cargo use is at 66%. Or 202 iron, 57,000 ice, 759,000 stone. That is a lot. It's awfully quiet. Is iron processing? 951.8. Nine hundred and fifty two point three. Okay, I guess it is. So power time is three hours and thirty six minutes. That's while everything's running. Uh, but I know it's gonna be twelve hours until the sun comes around again. So what I need Oh, they go the drills. Fifty-four point five percent. What are they set on? Vent. Sixty percent. Ah, uh, one of them dropped down to fifty-six. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Oh, yikes. Seventy two percent. Okay, well it's it's working. Then we're at ninety four and fifty five. Okay, so it fills up the one and then goes to the other, reaches sixty percent and then stops. Okay, that's fine. And I think what I will do it's oh, going down the hill. back up okay so what I need or what I want is when the Sun goes down I want to turn off the refinery the refinery is what drives this um, the system in this aspect because that's what turns the stone into ingots which reduces the amount of filled cargo which is what the event controller is watching in order to turn on the drills in order to mine more stone so if i stop the refinery everything else will stop as well um and the reason i want everything to stop is because i'm looking at One second charge. Well, all right, let me finish my thought. Because a second ago, it said I had three hours of power. <laughs> and the uh, day and night cycle is 24 hours. So that means I'm looking at 12, a 12-hour 12 
period of, of no solar power. So I'm curious with it, I guess with the react with the uh, refinery off, We have plenty of power. I don't know. We're not draining. Why we are not draining at all? Uh, oh, because some still have power. Okay. Well, as long as we still have some power, that's fine for it to keep working. But I think once they all have no power, all right, wait a second. Yes. Okay. Okay. I couldn't hear the refinery and I uh, was very confused for a second there. It's like, what's turning the refinery on and off? Nothing. It's, nothing's turning it on and off. It's just on. Okay. Yeah. So I need an event controller to monitor the power output of the solar panels to toggle the refinery on and off. Cool. Where would I put such a thing? <laughs> Whoops. All right, that's a normal block. Oh, that's a normal block. That's a full block. Okay, I didn't realize that. There we one, two, three right there. Candidates. That's a candidate. All the other blocks over here are used. This is a candidate, though, as is that one. All right, yeah. They're right on top of the airlock. That, yeah, those are right above the airlocks. Where do I want to put this? I also have the ceiling. I'm not a big fan of putting things up there, but sometimes you got to do it, I like with these timers. What do these buttons do? They start rig, stop rig, and ejectors. That reminds me, I have thought. I had a half thought while I was halfway asleep an unknown number of nights ago. About something to do over here. getting rid of all these ejectors and building an isolated system that it was there was an assembler involved but I already have an assembler what the hell is it for uh, I'll put some more thought into that I guess we'll be doing that right now all right so, I don't know, I want to put another event controller.
home. Let's go ahead and drain this. Or uh, drain, drain in here, that is. What's going on? So I believe the animation is broken. So whether you're depressurizing or pressurizing, you always get what looks like outgassing. Why is it not? Tank, oxygen, turn that off. Well, that's interesting. Why? Ah, uh, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Let's fix this up. that to generator O2 tank O2 tank All right what is what are we doing here ah stuck pile on and off got it two H2 stockpile and flow. Okay. All right, let's come over here and groups. Loud. Three hours and thirty minutes. Okay. New group. Tries. I put the wrong button, wrong action. I did not. Uh, okay. Weird. That something's not right. That's interesting. Is that for me breathing? <laughs> um, right on here. Oh, there we go. 
cool. All right, cool. Uh, let's put this. I guess. I don't really like it there, but uh, I don't have a better idea. There you go. And then controller. Nope. Again, we can turn that back on. I uh, love the air. All right, you will monitor power. Okay, call this cargo. Bill and your power. Okay, so pretty sure what I want is in here. Power output. Um greater than five percent. And we'll do all the solar panels. Oh, that's so cool. That's very handy. Okay. So let's make it, uh, let's make it 10%. And what I actually want is Oh, you know what? There might be an easier way. Uh... No, 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 no. This is, this is what I need. I was thinking maybe I could monitor the battery charge, but but I don't think it's going to work because the refinery being on will affect that. And you could get into a state where when the refinery is on, the draw on the battery is low enough that it flips the event controller uh, so the refinery turns off, so then it draws goes away so the battery um, draw is high is lower now and so it's event control again so you can can go back and forth so yeah I don't think I don't think that's the route to go yeah I need to I need to monitor a stored power that's what I was thinking of I think um, anyway yeah power output for the solar panels that's really what I want that's that's the amount of power coming into the system so that's why I want to monitor this. The AND gate will require this to be true of everything. Which means right now, output action two, if I do this, hmm. If I do this, I plot one. This number is are they getting bigger? Is the sun actually rising? Uh, where, how can I not zoom out? There it is. Oh, 
Oh, okay. No, it is setting. It's just there's a dip in the um, horizon there, so it's getting a little more light than than what it was before. Okay, I got gotcha. you. The trajectory of the sun is pretty shallow. It's 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 kind of like this. Okay, because when I first built this, it was the sun was about the height of that asteroid straight ahead there, and about that position, give or take. Okay, right on. So back to what I was doing. Uh, event controller, power monitor. Bunch of zeros, output action is two. So when the power output is greater than or equal to, all right, let's do 30%. I do need to do all of them. Yeah, actually, yeah, we can keep it real low, but it needs to be all because if it, if I don't do all, then what can happen is, okay. Um, right. It's gotta be all because even if I said, say like 80%, it could be possible that one or two are getting 80 and the rest are getting say zero or like as an extreme example, but it could be the case where, well, only one meets the requirement and that's not enough to power the refinery. So by requiring all of them to be above 5%, by the time they're all above five, some are gonna be like at a hundred or whatever. So it'll be, it'll be plenty. Yeah, that is what I want. So the action when we are here. Just to turn this on. And then off when any of them are below 5%. So right now, because of this one, the refinery should be off. Actually, because of this as well. And all of these. And it says the output action is one, but I, I think there might be a little bit of a delay. Equal to or greater than 5%. All solar panels. And the action is Turn the refinery on. So the negation means when all are greater than five, turn it on. When any are less than five, turn it off. So right now it should be off, which means it should say output action slot two. But it's not doing that. Yep. Oops. Yep. But the refinery is off. So it is working, I believe. Even though it says. Ah, oh, see, action two. Oh, but now they're all at zero. Now they're not all at zero. Now it's action slot one. I swear this thing is backwards. Um, however, it's also the case, this did not turn back on. I wonder if it's just that output is, is wrong and it's doing the right thing. It seems to be doing the right thing, even though it is saying the wrong thing. Oops in that output okay so that's 
as far as broken things go, that's the preferred. At least it's doing what I want, even if it's not telling me so. All right, cool. So with that, let's take this back. So now I should be good to leave uh, this facility and be able to come back with the confidence that it will not be dead when I return. In theory, um, I think in practice, uh, the game does some some optimizing basically turning things off when you're not around so it may not actually be necessary none of that may run including the refinery while i'm not near it Oops, wrong button. off and connect dampeners on. Sorry, the ship. Oh. Sorry. All right, let's give you. And you know, 99% on your batteries, so I would say you are good to go. Program one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try this. Disconnect so I don't share the groups. Program. It's off here. All right. On, on, on. Mining, I will put it here. Oops. On and two and connect. Cool. Not going to be dragging that with me everywhere. I kind of don't want to. Yeah, I don't think I should. crew yeah I wanted to build a crew um let's 
see if I can do that real fast. I don't recall the exact components I need. Nickel and cobalt. Cobalt. Nickel. Should be able to make that. Um, matter of fact, let's do... One, two, three. Assembler. Assembler. Oh, it's jammed. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now it should work. What is going on? Get my crew. Oop. Oh. Not with action. Well. Well, I was. Uh. Wow, okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> there we go.
to a main faction. Oh, why are these all hostile? That's, that's not cool. Hmm. Why, well, yes, I'd like to accept peace. Uh, sure. That's interesting. All right. Yes. Yes. Come on now. Oh, I wish this would go faster. These are all the factions that AI enabled creates to manage its helper bots. Which is, uh, it's an unfortunate necessity due to the way Keen handles factions. All right, cool. Cool. So now. Sim 1, combat, my colors, build my friends. There we go. Oh, the projector's still on. There we go. These are all off. Yep, that's still on. That's fine. Mm. Okay, good. Cool. So there is my friend. What are you doing back here, friend? Nothing. All right, well, you know. Whenever you're ready, you come to the bridge. That's where all the excitement is. Right on. So. CMR, 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 CMR. Okay, great. And I believe... Oh, isn't that interesting? I don't think I realized you could read data pads from other non-connected inventories. All right, well, that's cool. So, for the CMR, which I believe is this one, we need two, 200 data units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If this were 25 each, that would be 175. This has 11 extra. This has 12 extra, so that is 23. That's it. There's 200 here. Okay, great. So now... These can all be... shut down.
That's what I thought. All right, let's go and empty him out. Oh my God, come on. All right, here we go. You. Nothing. Okay. You. Data number four. So that is going to be you. Come on. Jesus. Oh my God. All right. Uh, here we go. Nobody, nobody tell. I am a space litter bug. Okay. Um, where? All right. What is she doing right there? Hey, you need it on the bridge. Um, I wonder. Oh, damn, I can't. Okay, I can't do that. Fine. Follow. Hold on. What is going on here? Resume. Oh no. I have defective blueprints. Go to over there. Oh no, they're defective. All right, well, um, that sucks. <laughs> I have such bad lag for whatever reason. I've had it for the whole series so far. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm wondering if that is blocking the, the bot from mapping the grid it's on or whatever. All right. I'm going to store her because as soon as I move, I don't want her getting slammed into the walls. Waste all my materials. Hmm. Lag improved. Nope, there it is. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm not even on a server. What the hell's going on? Do we have a marker for this area? I believe so. Uh, A20, A S0 2 jump. That's right. This is the system origin, isn't it? So there shouldn't be any floating point error either. Okay, so yeah, I think the fact that there's an approach and a jump point, that's good. Okay, next, let's figure out where we need to go. For the other uh, scientific machines. Come here. Okay, what is this? This is the Cosmic Origin Observatory. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Cosmic Origin Observatories. 
Oh, they're already hidden. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, what do you mean? 0 0.8 oxygen. Okay. And what do you use? Ambient temperature, 0 0.5. Okay. So that'll be like a typical planet during the day. You. Atmospheric density, 0 0.9. So it's kind of high altitude. So is... Oh, excuse me. So is... Uh, this one, which was uh, oxygen 0 0.8. And then this linear velocity. So this is a low altitude. Okay. So we need to go to some planets to do some observing. And I'm going to go ahead and grind these down. Hey, my death counter's working. Cool. I mean, that was totally bogus death, but at least it's working. Okay, so everything in involves a planet. So let's go to a planet. So with that, oops. Let's power up, unlock, take off. Unlock the gear, gear up. All right, lock the hinges and then lock the gear. We are not gonna need this jump point visible. Um, won't need these either. Not visible. Oh, I have grit. I have, um, I have waypoints. Okay, cool. don't know where any of these things are. Nice if there was a way to know how far away these things are from you. And let's see, I just grabbed Triton. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just make them visible, huh? Or not, I could just randomly click on them. All right, what do we have? Titan, 2,900. Pertam, 2,300. Sapramentus, 2,300. Triton, 2,900. Oh, let's go to Sapramentus. Come on. Oh, I can even see it. That is a good sign. All right, let's line up. 
and jump. Ah, jump. Guys. Uh, that is how far? Twenty three hundred. Okay. So. Jump drives. Oh shit. Okay. Let's do that. And jump. All right. Down. Jump. There we go. Shoot. <laughs> wow. Okay. Made it. How nice. Turn off all the rest. And... <laughs> All right, this is showing 155 kilometers and changing. Oh, because we're moving it to meters a second. Cool. 155. Let's see. Jump drives. Where are they? Where are they? Jump drives. All right, that should definitely not work. Makes sense. Three. 39 kilometers. Cool. All right. It's going on. All right, we're now 116 now. Cool. So, as far as the science goes, I believe. Oh, they're not visible, right? Hmm. It would be nice to just be able to type science and have them all pop up. All right, that's low altitude. I feel like I should write this down somehow. All right. Uh, and you know what? I don't think I have anything to write on. All right. Good. Let's go. That's cool. <laughs> oh, they only spin when they're charging. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, no, they are spinning. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, I don't think this is helpful anymore. What is that?
Interesting. There is no roll. Weird. Huh. Oh, wait, is there? Yeah, there is. It's mild, but it's there. Alright, cool. So we're moving at 113. And we can push that. To what? 200? Yes. 204. 5. 207. Wow, nice. 208. That's it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Something smoking? Something is smoking? Oh, I'll bet you that is from one of the air vents. Okay. A little concerning, but not actually a big deal. All right, cool. And we have like three high altitude missions. Oh, maybe it's that one. Um, not that. It's probably a surface. Well, that's that's definitely low altitude. Okay. Oh, oxygen at 0.8. Atmosphere at 0.9. Same one. Ah, right. Okay. And so let's go ahead and turn on this yeah we're going to need that that's annoying really <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and get these turned on, so they can warm up, and then these bad boys, nope, also not those, that leaves these two, 0.9, go, get them on and warmed up, already warmed up. All right. Now we just need to hurry up and get there. Let's see if I can do a little, some little 5K jumps to speed this up. All right, four, five, yeah, go. Cool. Six. Let's try this. Oh, no. Oh, that's it. All right, we're within 5K. All right. 
so that's roughly one minute of travel, a little bit less. <laughs> Skipping. Oh, there he goes. Good deal. So. Seems like in here would be a good place to put the uh, environmental sensor. Oh, wants to hit gravity. That we sure did. Alright, let's just go check. Oh, well, nothing yet. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> And displays. Oh, that is not cool. Uh, what do I have? Well, I got that. What else? Nothing really. Alright, let's see how much we can build. You know what? Yeah. Um. Sure. Oh, that was glass I grabbed. I need displays. Oh, that also means that was. Uh, oh my god. All right, um, right on. Let's go back to the assembler. That is not what I wanted. I wanted this, which doesn't make things any easier. 1.67 silicon. I have the iron. So actually I need 16 silicon. So that would be 10 motors, but I don't think I have 10 motors. I have four motors. Um, 
<laughs> All right. <sighs> Sounds like there's a bucket outside just banging in the wind. All right, make those things. Should be able to make some. Someday. All right, that's gravity. motors no displays this has 10 displays but then where will I get my drinks from desperate times All right, whatever, you suck. Go, script, and there it is. Come on. Still all zeros. There we go. Right on. So, as soon as we start seeing stuff, we can do some science and How much ice? 444,000. All right. Since we have so much, <laughs> I feel safe. <laughs> Speeding things along a little bit. Anything? Nothing yet. Is there an altitude? I don't recall. No, I think the artificial horizon will give you the altitude. Hmm. 
Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> oh no, this seems very important. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's uh, <laughs> something's gone wrong. See purple light. Oh, that's probably from the planet. Well. Uh, well, no, okay. I was going to say, maybe it doesn't have an atmosphere, but I can literally see <laughs> there's an atmosphere. Or there's a cloud shell, which um, pretty strongly implies there's an atmosphere. Well, let's just do that. Point five G point six. All right. Well, still nothing. Oh, there we go. All right. Wow. Okay. Oh, so the ah, that point eight, point nine atmospheric density is um, low altitude. Ah, uh, yes, that does make sense. All right, we're stabilized. So This needs 0.8 oxygen. All right, these two, 0.9 atmosphere. Wow, that is horrible. <laughs> it right there 181 you just missed it wow okay all right let's bring it back up Oh, 
one eight two eight one. All right, that should be good. Uh, I thought it would get quieter when I got out of the seat. All right, uh, point eight. Holy smoke! Uh, here. Go. 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 Plank spectroscope. Uh, here. We need 150. Plunk. Oh, they're still working. Oh, wow. Alright, you're on cooldown. Plunk. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Alright. Still on cooldown. Oh man. Whatever. Oh, a lot of computers. Okay. These have a lot of computers. Uh, nobody don't know. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, right. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. There's nothing I can do about that noise for now. Um, so, I'll <laughs> just make it more bearable. Okay. All right, you and all right. Um, all right, we'll do three of those there. Three of these here. 
So four, five, and six, those are the three I just built. They are all on high. Any bad guys in the area? No, there's not any. Can't read that. There we go. Up. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, that's not what I want. There we go. That's what I want. Um. Hmm. All right. What do we have? Plonk. Kerplonk. All right. Let's try this. There we go. So for the plunk, we need 150. All right, that's fine. All right, they're all on cooldown. What did we get? Nothing. Hmm, that is concerning. Atmospheric density, 0.8. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Good brief. It's the wrong machine. Atmospheric density, point nine. All right. We're just going to pretend none of that happened. This is the one I need to be building. Deep Space Climate Observatory. One, two, and three. Oh, rock on. Four. I may not have enough material to build four, though. Let's see? Nope, need interior plate. What's going on? What the hell? Why can't I clear this? Uh, fuck me. This is this is a problem. It's bad enough my middle click isn't working, but if if this shit isn't working at all, uh, now I'm reduced to trying to memorize the components I need, which I fucking hate doing. What is going on? Oh my god. 
gone. It's like it's not registering some of the keys I'm pushing for input. It's really frustrating. All right, what do we have? Cool. All right. Are you guys done? You are. Awesome. I need a motor and a ton of computers. All right. Out. Computers. Come on. Yeah, I don't know. The, whatever the whatever's causing the lag, I, I, I guess maybe it's the clang. I don't know. Um, but it's uh, it's like the game's not staying uh, catching when I like double click stuff or when I middle click or just just anything, honestly. All right, so the deep space. Let's go get the plonk. You guys go away. All right, we are All right, what did you guys need? You needed atmospheric density 0.9. Okay. I know we're not there, but we're close. Yeah, we're 0.8. Okay, so we just need to drop down a little lower. shot yeah just a little bit All right, back up we go nine five nine four nine three Nine two nine one nine zero and we stop. Cool. All right. Let's go run the experiments. Why are these all white? These are broken. <laughs> all right, you. So. All right, you. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, all purple, all working. All right, they're all on cooldown. Let's see what we have. Climb it. Nothing. Damn it. Hmm. All right. Um. Let's 
Let's try this. still scanning. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. All right. So, anyway, what do we have? Climate. Nothing. thing I plan to do in the rewrite is to show you what your actual measurement was so if it fails you you have a better idea why it also helps in debugging um, because this is saying required atmospheric, atmospheric pressure of 0 0.9 and according to the environmental data we are at atmospheric density of 0 0.9. And it's failing. Now, it's only going to collect data 95% of the time. Uh, but that should still mean that given I have six of these things, If I run each one twice, I should still get roughly 10 or 11 results. I'm not getting any. One. And this down here. Um, provides the largest margin of error for scanning. So it should be the most likely to succeed, the trade-off being you get the least amount of data. I'm getting no amount of data. All right, don't have much to lose. I guess we'll jack them all up, Let's see if that works. Unless <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if these are sampling. The atmospheric, the oxygen content, what the hell are they looking for? The atmospheric density at their position, which is inside. I wonder if that's what they are doing. All right. So now we have outside conditions in here. Let's try it. Worky, worky. 
All right, we've got some on cooldown. Uh, what the hell is it called? Climb it. Climb it. Oh, that's not it. Scan results. Yeah, it would be helpful to know what the actual pressure is that it's measuring. That would be reassuring. So when it when it fails, you know why. I recently updated the um, the other three scanners, the material weapon and cargo scanner, and improved their interface. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So, so it'll show like when you slide this down, this adjusts how much data you get in exchange for a narrower margin of error. So here you maximize your data collection with the smallest margin of error, which means you have to position you have to get to this um, position the, the sensor to a location much closer to this whereas down here this could probably range all the way up to like one or down to 0 0.8 and on the um and, and the the three other scanners they work similarly and so what i did was i had that actually display everything that is changing so the the, uh, the data range well they don't collect data but what this would do is it would display both the data range and the margin of error so you can see how they're changing when you move this slider which um, helps you make a better informed decision about what you want to do as opposed to kind of guessing based on your understanding and then for the scan results I'll include the uh, the output like here were your actual measurements so you can see like oh well I'm sure your pressure is 1.1 that's why it failed or whatever hmm okay so couple of contacts here cargo star mark one and the Goramus all right we are using the ambient air pressure atmosphere what have you not getting shit What do you guys need? <gasps> That's going to be hard. All right. Do I have a timer? Wow. Okay. Uh, let's drop down. Whoops.
okay, I don't like this. <laughs> we, are, we are way too close to the ground. All right, there we go. All right, so here we go. 500 meters. And not those. Fifty meters per second of linear velocity. Oh, let's get these turned on. All right, let's not head in that direction. All right. There we go. 50 meters a second. We are a little high. Okay, all right, let's go fire these things off. Oh, damn it, I didn't turn them on. All right, where are they? Not these guys. All of these here, damn it. All right, scan. 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 So this machine is ex is an example of why you might use the the lower sensitivity setting because you have to juggle two values on a moving ship, which means they're going to change. I'm at 508 uh, altitude and 51.3 speed, so I need that wider margin of error to even have a successful scan at all. Let's see. It worked right on gravitational observatory grab they all worked all right let's go ahead and mark this cool Let's go get that. Oh, one. Uh, this one. Yeah, that's the one. All right. 
All right, 11. Oh, it doesn't matter. Inventory, 14. 12. Another 11. Oh, another 14. And a 13. Nice. All right, what do we have? 11, 14, 12. Okay, we can only use one, so we keep that one. And the rest. <laughs> you know what? The heck with this planet. No litter, folks. <laughs> Alright, cool. So. They have a sample. Sample. Sapramentus. One. Okay. And the requirement. Oh, I thought I was sitting down. Is a hundred and fifty. Oh, the locker is not viewable. Of course, it's not. Well, I gotta say that was really cool. Okay, it's a research outpost. I guess we just passed it. Uh, over here. No. Right. So that was gravitationally perturbed neutrinos. Is it this top one? I think. What is this thing? Gravitational wave observatory. Yes, it's the top one. Three hundred. something a little easier to read. There we go. Alright. I had a feeling I might be heading towards some Stop. All right. So I'm seeing a problem here. So there is a distance requirement. And in space, that distance requirement is no big deal. It's 100 kilometers on a planet that is going to be tricky
Alright, we are now 10 kilometers away. So... Alright, let's not head towards him. something here all right Alright, I think what I'm going to do is head back to space. Oh, you know what? No. That's going to take too long. I'm going to land. So, unlock the landing gear. Unlock the hinges. Deploy. Gear down, locked. Oh, there's an observer. Close. All right, we're down. A little questionably, <laughs> but we are in fact down. Oh shit! I don't, I don't think that's good. We're in quicksand. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, right on. All right, we'll go ahead and just lock it. I shut that down. <laughs> Lovely. I just repaired that one. All right. Well, anyway, uh, this this is it for the episode, <laughs> and I will see you next time. Goodbye.